Alright. Let's see if we can bring him down. Oh shit, that's fast. Holy shit. <laughs>how are we doing guys welcome to another death from tier 2 video i'm going to talk about the update for a minute or two so there'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video so there's a new creature in the world of death frontier and it's okay it's not a boss it's like something that stalks you around the map kind of like nemesis from resident evil 3 but don't look anything like nemesis but it's going to randomly it'll com it's completely random i have no idea how it works um because i thought it might have been off a of time or something but there were people getting in discord that got it after like 20 minutes of update took me about 40 minutes to an hour it's you know it's completely random but it's a really cool thing it's completely random it'll come after you after level five areas so you need to be in a level five plus area it'll just chase you down for a while and if you can get away from it if you can survive it'll give you an x and a certain amount of xp now depending on that certain amount of xp i only got 4k which i was kind of disappointed with it would have been nice to go like because i'm a max level character it was in a level 30 area so like 10k xp would have been nice or something because it chased me for like seven minutes as well and i escaped it by getting into the safe zone so i don't know if it'll just chase you for a certain amount of time i don't know if it chase you into boss rooms i didn't think about testing that until after i'd already escaped it which I, honestly, I really need to find out, so I'll find that out for you. But I've got some video of the new boss here. It is. We're gonna check it out right now. The funny thing, the funny thing is, when I was actually watching a video in Discord of someone being chased by this boss, and when I was finished watching this video, I un I paused the video, went back into the game, and the music was playing. So it like literally, as I was finished with watching that video, it was in the game chasing me. I was like, that's super, that's super cool. But yeah. Anyway. Let me show you the entire clip now, it's really cool. Let's check it out. Oh my god, that's so quick. I love this boss. That's the best update he's ever done. Without a doubt. Holy shit, he's so fast. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. I don't even know how long you have to survive for. Come big guy, let's have it. Oh my god, he does not want to go down. Thank god to j mate, jog, jog, go jog. What do I do? Do I have to lose him or? Look how fast he is. Oh, he stopped. I think I've lost him. Gentlemen. 
Yeah, jog, jog's way more important than sprint. Like, this is a big update for jog. It was always that debate on what's better, jog or sprint. Like, I've always said jog, and now with this, 100% jog. Like, I'd never go sprint now. Sunset. Oh, it's right up top. That's it. I'll just go there later. I wonder if we can go in the safe zone. I'm going to try and get there and see if he follows me. Jesus, he don't get up, does he? I've been chasing me for ages. Five minutes has been on my face now. Should be close to safe so on two blocks. I think it's after like an hour of playing the game or something. I think that's when it comes after. Yeah. Oh, we're here. Let's see. Does he follow? It's a good question. You managed to escape the stalk again in 4,000 XP. Is that it? No! Give it more XP than that! Oh, it should go off your level. Alright, there you go. So, that was my personal experience with the stalker. It's really cool. It's a really good update. The animations are good. From what I've seen, because I've seen it chasing like someone that was around level 5 to 10 earlier. Um, and obviously from mine, I'd say it goes from it goes off your speed, which is a good thing. Like it, it's basically it's always going to catch you. I reckon that's how it works. I hope that's how it works. But yeah, it's it's a really really cool thing to add to the game. So I can't, I've got nothing bad to say about it. I'd say the only way you could really make it better is just give it a better XP reward. But if you're not using ammo or anything, I'd, um, it, to be fair, it all comes down to where it can go. I don't know if it can chase you into a boss room. If it can, then obviously you're not going to be bossing while it's chasing you, so that'd really suck. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. If it can't chase you into a boss room, it'll be absolutely fine. it just make the game harder for the next 10 minutes while it's running around you, and you get a bunch of free XP at the end of it, so it'd be fine. But, I, like I said, I don't know how it works. We'll find out later. I need to do some more research on it. But a better XP reward would be nice. Like, the 4K was kind of disappointing when you max level. It's, it's just, it's nothing, really. You can get 4K in less than a minute. But yeah, it's a cool update. I'd say the only thing I want to see now, like, re I'd really like to see, is some some more stuff getting you moving around the map. Maybe some world events. One of the, you know, you look on the map, one of the squares will be lit up green, like a green square. You put your mouse over it, it'll say, like, you know, 20-minute timer counting down. And um, it's like... I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, five mothers are here that need 
exterminating or free titans are here that need exterminating you get a massive cash reward at the end like 50k or something like that for going and killing them because at the minute there's just nothing really there's nothing to do apart from them there's a couple of things to do obviously you've got your missions that'll make you some money you got looting that'll make you money you really don't want to boss for money i i had about 150k a couple of week ago when i started playing the game again i'm down to like 40k and I, I, it's just impossible to make money from bossing unless you get stupidly lucky. So yeah, it'd be not, I don't like doing the missions and I don't like looting. So it'd be nice if there were another way to make money, like I said, from world events or something. It wouldn't be hard to code. But to be fair, an update like that would be pretty easy to put in. Because he's already got everything in the game. All he'd have to do is just set it up. You know, just make it so when you get there, there's five mobbers there. You kill the five mobbers, boom, cash reward. Tells you in top corner. You got 50k for killing them, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. You know what I mean? Loads of people could get there. People could be typing and chat to each other. Like, oh, wait, I'm only a minute away. And stuff like that. That's what we, how we do it in World to Live Online anyway. And I just think it'd be a really cool thing. Something like that added to the game just to get people moving around the world. But yeah, Neil, if you see this video, mate, it was a great update. Honestly, keep doing stuff like this, man. The game is getting brilliant. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.